You really don't want to miss this episode today. I have with me Raphael, and we'll be talking about Config.js, a tool that can very simplify the way you can build a chatbot. Hey, Raphael, very happy to have you on the show today. Uh, we're here to talk about Config.js, so I would like to learn more about it. Can you tell oh. us a little bit more about it? Sure. Um, so my name is Raphael. I go by InstaFluff on Twitch. And Comfy.js is an open source project that I created um, about six years ago. That's kind of when we started to make um, connecting to Twitch chat really easy for coders. So this can be for like just beginners getting into JavaScript or expert level users that, that have been coding for years and years. But essentially, um, Comfy.js was a way for me to to create Twitch chatbots or integrations with live streams um, as quickly as possible and get started on it so that I can make um, Twitch chat integrated projects live on stream really quickly as well. And so... So, so for, for people who are maybe less used to like, what's a chatbot and why would you interact with it? So oh yeah, when so, you're live streaming, you have mm -hmm. some kind of automation that happens with commands or react to what the... the, what the, the people message in the chat, right? Yes. And so then the, like, you, yeah, the, the idea is that, um, so we have a live chat generally for these live streams. So you have the video, but then there's also everybody interacting through chat. And that's the, the main way that most people will interact with the streamer. And mm -hmm. so it's, it's really important to be able to build interactions, um, to, to be have, have that connection to the Twitch chat in real time. And so yep. that, that's what Comfy.js enables is like being able to do different chat commands so that you can automate different responses or even building different games that are for overlays that can happen live in chat um, during your live streams. And so that's actually one of the projects that I made as well. Um, I made a bunch of different games that are overlays that people can play um, using the Twitch chat while they're live on stream. And other other viewers can type in things like XMH point drop into chat, and then it drops a little character and goes and and drops and bounces between each other, and then they try and land on this target. Um, there's like Plinko, and so all of those things can be enabled just by um, being able to connect to chat in real time. And that's okay. actually built on top of Comfy.js. And I, I I think like you plan to like build like a quick demo right now just to show us how simple it is because I know it's simple because. I build my own chat because using Config.js. I was like, I have one project. I'm not a JavaScript developer, but it's one project, super cool. Like I'm using the game you 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 mentioned. I'm a big fan of it. It's like it was very easy to implement. So, yeah. So like, show us how, like how how do you get started with Config.js? Oh yeah. Um, so I'm I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get started with just a couple lines of code. Um, it really was meant to be. Um, the quickest way to get a Twitch chat in, in real time as a feed into your code. So this can work in both like a Node.js project as a web backend web server or on a browser site as well. And so what I have here, um, I, I think you can see my screen. Yes. Um, and so what I have here is the page open to the GitHub for Comfy.js. Um, this project's been live and open source for like six years and um, there's a bunch of people using it. I think we're at like, 4 million um, downloads on JS Deliver per year, almost. <laughs> that's not um, a few 4 million, Raphael. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Congrats. So yeah, what I'll show you here is kind of PJS that is test. All right, I created a new folder for it. This is how okay. we can get it started with a, a simple Node.js project um, to connect to Twitch chat, which is like, I mean, like if you go to my, my page and go to a, a Twitch chat and say hello here, then you would actually be able to get that hello message as text in your Twitch bot right away. Okay. And so I'm going to start by doing npm init. I'm going to make this bigger so that I can make sure that everyone can see it. So npm init dash y to start a new Node.js project. And all right, here we go. Yep. And then we should have, we should have index.js and package.json. And so, um, I, I opened it ahead of time here, just so that it's easy to see. But with these instructions here, I'm actually just going to copy paste this for you. Um, so you can see that um, what it does is it gets and imports that Comfy.js module. So what I want to mm -hmm. do is do npm install uh, 
comfy.js. To get the package. Now it'll be in the package.json. Yep. And then I import it in here. And then I'm going to add a command handler. So this command handler, what this means is if you type in any text with an exclamation in front of it first, then it recognizes as not just a regular chat message, but a, a separate command. So then this makes it easy for people to be able to say things like, if I type in exclamation point test, or if I type in exclamation point drop, then I need to separate that out as a separate handler from all the other viewer chat messages that might be happening across, yeah. the, across the stream. So yeah, I'll do test and then I'll say test was typed in chat. And then comfyjs.init, I'm going to have this point to my channel, which is instafluff. And I'll run it, node in next.js. And if I go to my chat now, we can see that it's connected. It has default um, debug on. And so that's why you're seeing this. You're able to turn that off. But now if I type in exclamation point test in here, you can see that test was typed in chat, but you can see that um, any other messages like XMH point test one, they don't get recognized. It's just the test command. And so you could imagine I, changing this to support other commands like um, this is me. And then say this is me was typed in chat. So if I save that and then restart this bot, then I should be able to type in exclamation point, this is me. And, oh, did I spell it wrong? Oh, I, I did exclamation point. Yeah, so the command actually doesn't have the exclamation point prefix on there. But um, if, you, if what it was expecting was actually exclamation point, exclamation point. So here we go. See, exclamation point, this is me was typed in chat. And Wonderful. So now in this demo right now, you're just like logging, but obviously when those commands are triggered, you, you could do real stuff. That's when you, you oh, yeah. start an emanation, play a sound or something like that. Yeah, you, you can imagine you could do um, like automation with IoT devices as well. So some people could use this and connect it to a light bulb or a lantern that, that changes colors. And all of that could be done now with Twitch chat. So you can put and in different chat commands in there. And we don't necessarily want, so like, we, we, we don't necessarily want all the command to like be uh, triggered by anybody. Like, so we, there's in config.js some, some, some kind of like uh, permission place. So mm -hmm. like only, for example, the streamer will be able to add those command and sometimes some others will be able to, uh, to be open to everyone. Yes. Right? Yes, exactly. So what you see here is um, in the demo command here is that um, it uses this flags object that's passed in as a parameter. And mm -hmm. it says, if the flags is a broadcaster and the command was typed in as test, then we, we log it. But OK, so that's an example. So for example, test, if I was in your chat, I type I and I type exclamation point test, the chat bot won't react to my right. exclamation point test because I'm not a broadcaster. Right, exactly. On and your if, channel. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you, if you wanted anybody to be able to use that command, then you can just remove that the broadcaster check. And so that's awesome. This is this is like how many lines of, of code? Like, in, and we have two commands and it's like 10 lines. That's awesome. That it's hard to to beat that in terms of like simplicity. Yeah, so be, under the hood, it does all the things for you, things like connecting to IRC, making sure that the connection actually stays live, um, using WebSockets, all, all of that you don't have to worry about. And so that's handled for you, all the authentication things and connecting to um, to Twitch's IRC servers. Um, and so really this was meant to be the, the easiest way to start um, interacting with Twitch chat for for any sort of tools. People have used it for creating automation tools for streamers. People have used it for creating um, game integrations with Switch um, for like actual published games. And so, so yeah, it's a pretty cool project, I think. Um, I love it. So if people are interested to build something, use that library where they can get started and how can they contribute to uh, your community? Yes, so the open source project is actually on GitHub. It's if you go to GitHub and search for comfyjs. Um, oh, we'll, we'll make sure to put the link in the description. Don't worry about that one. Okay, great. Thank you. 
And then the other part about it is that it doesn't just have to be running on a node server. So you don't have to have a, um, a server instance or somewhere, somewhere in Azure actually hosting the, the bot that you code. Um, what is cool is that this same module works in the browser. So what I wanted to show you here is um, oh, yeah. ConfiJS also running right within your browser with the same type of code. So what I'll do is I'm going to install another module that I made called Web of Web. And <laughs> this is an easy way to just create a, um, a web server. And then what I'll do is I'll say, OK, web equals require.web of web and web dot run. I'll run it on port. This will just run on localhost. OK. And then I'm going to copy this exact same code, the comfy.js code that I have here. And I'll create it into an HTML file. So actually, what I'll do is I'm going to leave this here for a second. Um, I'm going to copy paste this into here because I have the example HTML code here. Oh, what yeah. I'll do is now I'll take this code and then put it into here. Wrong. I don't need the require because I imported it directly from a CDN, which is here. So it's hosted. You don't have to host it yourself. And voila. So this is the HTML page. And I'm going to save it into a folder called web. Let's say that's index.html. All right. So what you can see here is this is the actual um, full web HTML page with ComfyJS mm -hmm. imported. It's got the command handler with test and the this is me command as well. And it's connecting to my Twitch chat. But this can be any, like, this can be your Twitch chat. Um, this can be your bots or your friend's Twitch channel. And you'll be able to listen to these commands. And so now if I run this, then it runs on 8080. And do localhost 8080. And all right. HTML was not found. Oh, that might be because I need to save this to um, not web, but public. Okay, there we go. Let me try this again. Huh. That should have worked. It looks like HTML. There. It is there. Hmm. I guess what I can also do is uh, is just open the page myself here. So I'm just going to open the page here. There we go. And then if I run the console, you can see that it's connected to Twitch chat here. Mm -hmm. And now if I do xmage point test, Test was typed in chat, just like that. Yay. And then I can do the XMH point. This is me. And this is me was typed in chat. Um, and all of that works within this web browser page. So you can imagine if you publish a static web page to uh, GitHub pages or your um, portfolio website and you want to have Twitch chat integration in there for some reason, then yeah, this can work. And you don't have to have a backend server, which makes it really easy, really simple. And there's a lot of different possibilities as well. Oh yeah. And 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 you've been creative. So if people want to catch you, your Insta fluff on on uh, uh, Twitch and uh, you, you do a lot of integration with, with that uh, library and and Mm -hmm. Many other things too, but uh, your chat is very uh, active. Oh, yeah. It's alive. <laughs> <It's very fun. laughs> yeah, we do a bunch of things. Like, um, so what, one of the things that I used uh, Comfy JS for is like a birthday bot, so that we can remember um, people's birthdays really easily. So it wouldn't have the year, so we wanted to keep that uh, like the actual age uh, private. But people can type in exclamation point B day and then type in the month, like April fourth or something. Um, and then their username, and it saves it. And then if you type in XMA from B day and then their username, it tells you, hey, this person's birthday is April 4th. Or um, 
X play point B day and then April and then it'll it'll print out all the all the people that are um, that have April birthdays. Oh, that's so, cool. I like that. Yeah, there, so there are so many things, but the time is flying. So let's just <laughs> get back to the that GitHub repo. So people, you go there, you can yep. try it. There's like all the code to get started. There's the community. Like uh, if you have um, questions, there's like um, you also have like a Discord server, something like that. Oh I, yes, yeah, I have it on Discord. I, I think it's also linked, um, but you you can find me on Twitch. I think that's probably the best way. We'll to make do. sure to uh, also add all those links. So uh, feel free if you join, go there, give it a try. I'm telling you, it's very simple to to get started, and after that, sky is the limit <laughs> to uh, to add your functionality. So thank you a lot, Raphael. It was very very interesting. I'm very happy to have you there uh, with us today. Uh, I'm, I'm a user of Config.js. I love it, and it's very simple. So thank you again to to be here with us today and sharing this this magnificent project. <laughs>